In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems involving partial fractions with the Casio FS901 ES calculator or Casio FS570 ES calculator, the black one and not the white one. For multiple choice questions in seconds. Now, after going through this video, you will learn the tricks or the hacks I use personally to solve problems involving partial fractions with the Casio calculator multiple choice questions so ensure you stay with me till the end of this video guys because you learn something very very important that will help you in the long run okay having known that let's bring the casio calculator now and go straight into the details of this video okay so this is the casio calculator now as you can see i have three questions here to solve with you if you look at question three closely the format of this question looks a bit different from question one and question two so guys ensure you stay with me till I finish solving all the questions here. I get to question three and solve it for you so that you will get the full information. Okay, having known that, let's begin. Now, the first thing you have to do is to clear your calculator. The essence of doing it is to put your calculator in default mode because you may not recall, remember whether you have put your calculator in a different mode or you have stored a number in it before. So, to be at the safe side, and not to have unnecessary error with the present calculation you want to do we advise to clear so to clear simply press for, for those of you that don't know how to do it simply press shift then for this shift button 9 for the instruction you want to initialize or press 3 then you have to press equal to press equal to then press equal to again and it will clear so it's now in default mode. So having cleared the calculator, let's store a number. Now the idea behind solving partial fraction the calculator is to use a stored number to simplify the question and also to use that stored number to simplify the options as well. So right now we are going to store to this no in this calculator. Now you can choose any number you want to store, but I recommend two for people I teach because personally I practice with two. And I have not found any error with this, so I recommend two for you guys. So we'll be working with two. So we are going to start two in this calculator now to store a number that's two. We press the number first, then press this button. STO stands for store. We press it. Then we want to store it as X. Look at X. I press this button. It indicates here that two has been stored as what X in this calculator. Okay, guys, so having done this, let's go ahead and simplify this partial fraction we are asked to resolve into partial fraction did so we are going to simplify this question now after simplifying it we also use that to restore to simplify the options to see the option that we align with the whatever value we get here after simplifying so let's proceed so the numerator we have it to be in brackets alpha x to bring out x you have to press alpha and x for s to come out plus one close the bracket very, very simple guys come down you know the values we have it in the x as alpha x minus one close the bracket open another bracket we have alpha x square all right plus one close the bracket that's it that's exactly what we have the i press report and that's what it will give us two by five if you want to change this to decimal simply press sd there's no point so guys right now we're going to simplify the various options and that gives us 2 by 5 or 0 0.2 will definitely be your answer so let's bring it to option a option a we have it to be the new letter is x over in brackets we have alpha x square all right plus one close the bracket guys that's it for option a press record as well to give you two by five no we got three by five for zero point six okay let's take option b let's do the necessary adjustments here all right so let's just move this plot and put minus okay there is no power for option b there and move this x and put one okay that's it what the answer? They say the answer is what? They say the answer is one. No. Okay, let's take option C. What is option C, guys? Option C. Okay, let us 
put minus here fraction we have put x alpha x all right in bracket again we have alpha x square all right plus one the answer has to be option c i hope so it will surely be option c okay so that's what we have there right and my career is correct so let's press report two and see if we get 0 0.6 or 3 over 5. It's as simple as that guys confirm 3 over 5 or 0 0.6 so guys the answer is what option c this is basically the idea now let's solve question 2 that looks a bit heavy but it's very, very simple guys i'm going to do it together with you here now you see that it's very, very simple okay so it says open the rational expression whose partial fraction is this okay guys since we are still going to make use of, use of the two we stored there's no need applying the calculator the only time you you may be allowed to apply a calculator is when you want to store a fresh number or a, a, a number apart from the present one you are currently using a different number from the present one you are using but since no one to store a different number we are still going to make use of two you don't have to clear you still work with two so well, let's impute these values for the question we have two x alpha x sorry we have to, yeah, okay yeah. that's correct we have two x alpha x over three all right minus infraction we have 4 over 9 okay minus fraction we have 1 over 2x alpha x okay plus we have another fraction 1 3 3 x alpha x over we have 18 denominator 18x in brackets we have 3x alpha x okay plus 2 close the brackets okay let's place a quote now and see what we are going to have as the value 25 over 16 so guys if you want to put it in fashion i press sz but let's work with fashion for this one 25 over 16. so right now i'm going to simplify the options anyone that gives us 25 over 16 will definitely be what's our answer so let's begin with option a so option a we have it numerator have it 6x alpha x quickly alpha x square plus 5x plus 5x okay minus 1 no, 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 we have it to be alpha x in bracket. We have 3x alpha x plus 2. Close the bracket. That's what we have there, right? Correct. So let's put one and see what it will give us. No, we got 25 over 16. So let's check option B. Let's look at the necessary adjustment here. Remove what is not needed. Let's put 18 here and put what is needed. So let's move this 6 and put 5. Move this 5 here and put 2. I move this one here and put 2. That's for option B. Right? Yes, correct. 11 over 1 for no, no. We got 25 over 16. Option C says no, so it has to be option D, guys. Let's check option D. Let's do the adjustments again. There's no 18 at the denominator. Remove this 18, go up. Remove this 5 and put 2. Okay, remove this power here and put 3. That's the power there. What else? I can move this 5. Sorry, this 2 and put 5. And uh, lastly, remove this two and put what one. So that's it, guys. Now let's check what it will give us. Hmm. 
from 5 to the 5 plus 16. So guys, our answer is what option what D. Now this is the idea how to do it the castle calculator. You simplify the question and also simplify the options to obtain exact value. So guys, that's the idea. Now let's look at question three. Very, very simple guys. Now before you solve question three, if you are new to our channel and you are not yet subscribed, ensure you hit the subscribe button now to subscribe to our channel for more of our videos. Also like this video. Give this video a thumbs up now to help the algorithm on this video. Now this is a ghost class. All we do basically is that we help young scholars like you with tips and other necessary information that we simplify our connect problems for you. So if such tips and necessary information interest you and we love to be getting them directly from us, ensure you hit the subscribe button now to subscribe to our channel and also not forget to give this video a like that a thumbs up. Okay, having done that this quickly stop with some tray um call this a class. Okay, so question three says given that 3x minus 5 all over what we have here x plus 1 in bracket and also x plus 2 in bracket equals a over this plus b over this determine the value of a and b so guys this is very very simple what this thing is trying to let us know or trying to make us understand is that we should simplify this when you simplify it we should check the value of a and b that when you use them to substitute a and b in these options it will give you the same value you will get after simplifying so let us practice it that you understand it better so let's simplify the equation given that we have 3x alpha x okay minus 5 come down in bracket we have x alpha x plus one okay and have work we have alpha x plus two all right put it back here let's press the as well we may have one about 12 guys one about 12 so we are going to substitute each of the options here for a and b to see the one that will give us one over 12. so guys very simple let's begin with option a so let's simplify this now so option a now when our a is minus 8 our b will be 15. very simple guys so let's check if we give one over 12 when a is minus 8 so we have fraction we have alpha x plus one close the bracket okay go here and put plus under fraction there b is when, when b is 15 okay in bracket we have alpha x plus two so let's see if it will give us one about 12 no so let's take option b when a is minus 6 and b is minus 11 so let's quickly do the adjustments here when b is what minus 11 and when our a is minus what 6 let's press the corner as well to give us no so guys let's check option c it has to be option c it has to be option C. Okay, so this this one there's no minus there is a positive value. So let's check for six. Remove six and put eight. Guys, it's as simple as that. All right, so let's press the quote to now and see if it will give us one over twelve. One over twelve exactly. So guys, our answer is what option C is as simple as that. So these are the tricks, the hacks. I used to solve problems involving partial fraction with the Casio calculator, this black one, Casio FS, and that one ES calculator, the class with or uh, the Casio FS570 ES class with calculator. So, guys, I hope you learned something interesting. Now, if you are new to our channel once more, ensure you subscribe to our channel now. For more of our videos, also like, share, and comment on this video to tell me how you feel. 
regarding what you have learned in this class if you seem to have any specific questions to ask feel free to leave your question in the comment section below and i'll be sure to give you a response that's it for this class guys thanks for watching i will see you in my next video